Welcome back. I hope you're doing great. As a part of this video, we'll understand what is ETL testing. In the previous video, we understood we have a ETL process. For what? For developing the data warehouse. We also understood ETL process will not be smooth. We may face multiple hurdles in the whole of extraction, transformation, and loading. Let us understand what is ETL testing. So what is ETL testing? ETL testing involves all the processes, methods used to ensure that the data that has been loaded from the source to the destination after business transformation is accurate. Let us take an example here. If you look at this beautiful picture, we have a source. These are the sources. And here we have a staging area. And this is the data warehouse. And we have data marts here. So in this case, this is the source and this is the destination. Assuming that you are trying to move a table with some three columns into the target, target being staging area here. We need to ensure whether the whole of this data has been moved here or not. But one more aspect to be kept in mind is we also need to ensure whatever the business transformation which was proposed as a part of the product is taken care or not. Otherwise, what is the fun? So ETL testing involves all those processes and methods to ensure the data loading is accurate after the business transformation. That is what being validated by ETL testing. If you just dig further, ETL testing, we can also call it as a data warehouse testing, will ensure validating whether the data is loaded properly or not. It is also validating the aggregations, grouping, whether the categorizations are properly done or not. That also would be taken care by the ETL testing. So if you compare the ETL testing with the other kinds of testing like manual testing, ETL testing is categorized under specialized skills. Like you need to know how to construct the complex query to perform the ETL testing. You should also be aware of how to analyze the large quantities of the data very efficiently. And also the data comparison from the different sources with the target also need to be known by a ETL tester. ETL testing ensures data completeness. Just remember, in the whole of ETL testing, the data is moving from one place to another place, source to target. The source and target being different at different stages. When the data is being moved from one place to another place with the transformation or without the transformation, you need to ensure whether the data is complete or not. By performing the ETL testing, we are ensuring data completeness is taken care, like comparing and validating the counts, whether the aggregation is done properly or not. All those things come as a part of the data completeness. ETL testing also ensures the data is correct. Assuming that there is a name in the source, the name is David and in the target name need to be David. If there is no transformation involved there, right? So ETL testing ensures the data is accurate. Like there should not be any misspellings and there should not be any null values where the value should be there. Data integrity is one of the very, very important aspect of the data warehouse. ETL testing ensures data integrity is taken care. So the data integrity is in a way a measurement which users consider when analyzing the value and reliability of the data. ETL testing also ensures data reconciliation is taken care. Reconciliation is like, let us say, in the source, you have 10 records. In the target, as per the requirement, there should be 10 records. It will ensure that the 10 records are moved from source to target. As you know, the core of the whole of data warehouse is data transformation. So ETL testing also ensures data transformation is taken care appropriately as per the business requirements. We'll take a look at that in the future videos. ETL testing ensures the quality of the data is also correct, like syntax, reference tests. All these things come as a part of the data quality. Awesome. 
we understood what is detailed testing thank you mm-hmm.